The mother of a cell phone store manager who was murdered two and a half years ago is asking for mercy for the man who is awaiting trial for the crime. 20-year-old Shelby Farah was shot and killed during a robbery at the Metro PCS store in Brentwood in 2013. Police arrested James Rhodes a few days later for first-degree murder. The state is seeking the death penalty if Rhodes is convicted. But Channel 4's Vic Michalucci tells us Farah's mother is asking prosecutors to reconsider. Darlene Farah tells me she wants all of this to be over. She wants closure for her and her two children. She wants the state attorney's office to take the death penalty off of the table and to go on with a plea deal from James Rhodes' attorneys. I'm fighting for what's right, not because of me feeling sorry for him or anything like that. Darlene Farah isn't afraid to speak out. She wants lead prosecutor Bernie De La Rianda to listen to her wishes and take the death penalty off the table. Who are we to put a date on anybody's life? Only God can. She says James Rhodes has wanted to plead guilty for nearly two years. He'd get life in prison without parole. His defense team is trying to make that happen, but she says the state won't accept the deal. Oh, it's not going to bring my daughter back. Shelby wouldn't. Shelby didn't believe in the death penalty. Shelby wouldn't want the death penalty. And she's not here to voice her opinion on it. Rhodes' trial has been pushed back again and again. It's now scheduled for May. But the future is uncertain because of a recent Supreme Court ruling which declared Florida's death penalty guidelines unconstitutional. Several past sentences have already been overturned. Right now, there's no word on what that means for this case. I thought we was close to getting to the end to where it's almost over. Farah says she wants some closure. Shelby's in heaven. Shelby's in a better place. I got my other two kids I have to think about. I have to focus on putting structure and stability back into their life and try to start the healing process. But she told me today's meeting did not bring that. I reached out to the state attorney's office. A spokeswoman there sent me a brief statement saying the trial is still set to begin in May of this year, and it would be inappropriate to comment at this time. Downtown, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.